most important recent event, if you like, in world economies and markets has been the reopening of China, the abandonment of the zero COVID policy and the reopening of China to the world. You know, China has been in self-imposed isolation for nearly three years, and this has had a dampening effect on, on the world economy. That reopening has had an immediate effect on the stock prices of some companies in the portfolio uh, which have some exposure to China. For example, um, it's not the only companies, but L'Oreal, Intertech, Kiens, uh, Yum China, of course. Um, and generally speaking, you know, the reopening of China is good news in terms of demand. But I think what we also have to remember is that uh, you know, China, for example, consumes one fifth of world oil production. Um, and the reopening of China and an acceleration of the economy there may lead to increases in oil prices. China also will be in competition for liquefied natural gas, which as you know is a, uh, is a problem in, in European economies. And so this may feed through to a potential impact on inflation. Remember that central banks around the world are trying to engineer a soft landing to reduce inflation without overly damaging overall GDP growth. And the reopening of China may complicate uh, that uh, endeavour. So three companies which have performed really well uh, in the uh, fourth quarter of 2022 uh, include Novo Nordisk, uh, a Danish company which provides treatments and solutions for people who suffer from diabetes. Um, that in particular has seen strong performance from what are called GLP-1s, a class of drug that it uh, has provided which uh, help people deal with diabetes and also with weight issues, obesity. Then Essilor Exotica, that's a company which provides ophthalmic equipment, vision correction and also sunglasses. Uh, and that company announced really strong operating results uh, and there was no sign of trading down people moving to cheaper pairs of spectacles if you like. And then Nike, you know, one knows what Nike does, but again that reported a really strong operating performance, including in China where there are store closures and, and, and other issues and lockdowns that, that may have caused trouble for Nike, but it still produced really, really good results. All three of those companies produced a positive performance in excess of 30 to 40% appreciation just in that fourth quarter in Canadian dollar terms at a time when the market was up only 12.5%. So those three companies contributed really strongly to portfolio performance in the fourth quarter of 2022. Dora days are a process whereby we consider the long-term secular trends of the future, both as sources of opportunity, but also potential threats uh, to companies that we may have already invested in. One of the most recent Dora Day topics was about artificial intelligence in healthcare. The healthcare industry around the world is suffering from a fundamental problem in that demand is ever increasing because of the aging of populations in many countries, but the ability of the industry to provide for that healthcare is not keeping up. And one of the ways in which the industry may be able to close the gap is through the use of data and also the use of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, for example, can be used for data analysis and management, and that can lead to greater efficiencies among providers of healthcare, but also better outcomes for patients, potentially at lower cost. In particular, artificial intelligence can be used in areas such as diagnostics, imaging and surgery, including remote surgery, where for example, you have a surgeon in one place operating via a robot on a patient in another place, and that leads to great potential efficiencies, the absence of the need to transport a patient, for example. Anyway, artificial intelligence is among the solutions uh, that are being rapidly adopted by the industry to close the gap, if you like, between demand and the ability to supply. There are various companies in the portfolio that can benefit from this, including, for example, the big cloud providers, um, but also uh, companies providing IT consultancy um, and companies providing robotics and, uh, and, and other uh, classes of artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm.